The extraterrestrial wanderer has more of an instinctive belief or faith in spiritual coincidence, in the aliveness of all things. This is a rather small advantage, and one that extraterrestrial wanderers can use only if they trust in their intuition. In either case, it will take practice. Those of Ra say, As with any entities, each wanderer has its unique abilities, biases, and specialties. So that from each portion of each density represented among the wanderers comes an array of pre-incarnative talents, which then may be expressed upon this plane which you now experience. So that each wanderer, in offering itself before incarnation, has some special service to offer in addition to the doubling effect of planetary love and light and the basic function of serving as a beacon or a shepherd. Thus there are those of fifth density whose abilities to express wisdom are great. There are fourth and sixth density wanderers whose ability to serve as, shall we say, passive radiators or broadcasters of love and the love light are immense. There are many others whose talents brought into this density are quite varied. Our concern then is to identify develop and share what gifts we may have. When the soul awakens to its spiritual identity, concomitant with the gladness of knowing who one is comes the honor and responsibility involved in the feeling that there is work to do. And for each entity, that work has been prepared in the sense that each seeker has gifts and talents for which there is a use. We encourage each to flow with those talents to support the self in using those gifts that have been brought into incarnation, that have been carefully chosen by each for the outer service, for the actions and accomplishment that each may choose to offer.